Hello everybody, welcome back to Protocol Media. I am Max Lucas Killer, and today we are pl uh, we mm, I have played City Skylines. The game is essentially a city building game. Um, you have to like build the roads, put in the residential area, then commercial area, then you have to then put down the power and the water, and then you need to like. Link it all. You're basically making a city. That's the grand gist of the game. It has no story. <laughs> it also has no story. It's basically a building game. What attracted me to the game was its similarities to SimCity, a game which I have played in the past on PC. So that's why I decided to play it. Which I believe it's take. I'm surprised it took me this long to try it out. What? I enjoyed from the game was is how in depth it was and how hard it was. So, using this as a comparison, in Sim City, you'd put down the power plant next to a road, and then all of a sudden, everywhere has power. With this game, you needed to put down like a windmill for power, but then you needed to then also attach a power grid and then also make a string of power grids to the said houses. So there's more details, which is what I actually appreciate. And that also goes the same for the pipes. You make a water thing for water, and then you have to then connect the pipes to the residential areas. Something else I enjoyed was that how the game is very simple. It's very simple to understand, very simple to follow, and the instructions are easy to read. Despite all the good stuff, there was a couple of knickknack of things. I didn't, but so someone that I particularly did enjoy is that there's no like way. To, so when I was making the roads for my city, there was no way to tell what was how to put this in words. Uh, halfway points, so it was hard to make a city symmetrical, and I'm pretty sure I faffed about for 10, 15 minutes trying to get one road to just be a perfect like square with insides, other squares to be like other like areas. I'm 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 pretty sure for that's like a big that's something that annoyed me. Um, I think that's, yeah, I think that's, yeah, that's pretty much the only thing I actually found, in the time frame that I played, that's the only thing that I didn't like, was that, yeah, there's no way to tell things are symmetrical or not, um, and there's no, there's no indicator to help you, that's pretty much, from the time frame I played, the only thing that annoyed me, and I didn't particularly enjoy Regards to the gameplay, it, apart from say, um, for most part it's easy. I've already previously said for most part it's easy, but when it comes to then like trying to make the roads like perfect or how you want it, it can be difficult because you got no like indicator. If that's midway point. That's a third point. You know, it's just you see these little circle dots. You think, oh, them circle dots mean midway points. They don't. It's false information. It's a trick. It's a trap. What I, I would pers uh Personally, if I didn't, yeah, I, I, I could, I could definitely see myself playing the game more in the future. It has got elements that I do like. I just need to like, I think I just need to do like one game, do like an early test run to see how budgeting works, and then I have to like do like another game to then do it properly. Because obviously, when you do games like this, you need to like do a test game to first see. How building works, how construction works, how the budgeting works, and so forth. There's a lot of variables you need to consider. Would I play a game similar to this? I probably already answered that one. Because I already do. I play SimCity and the expansion, The Cities of Tomorrow. 
I would I would recommend this game to people if they're actually into this uh, I know this kind of game is very uh, how do I pull it uh, you have to have a certain taste for these kind of games well I can't just randomly give this to somebody who plays like Call of Duty non-stop and be like you want to play this game it's a good game recommend it to him because nine times out of ten if I try doing that it ain't gonna work but yeah I would recommend it to somebody who was actually interested in like city building type games uh, as far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware there are other there's DLCs like a bunch of them um, I think like on the side of the menu there was like a, a Tokyo like a Japanese symbol if I remember correctly and it's like another like 10 other symbols at least um, so it'd probably be interesting to try in future maybe um, but I'd probably have to do some research to see if it's actually worth buying and trying out and not just be like oh I'll buy it and it turns out to be drastically shit It can, it, uh, to be honest, to me personally, this game does have replay value. Um, the reason being is because you can, there's multiple different, like, places where you can build a, 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 a city. You can build one by the beach, you could build one completely in the, of the mainland, and in each area has, like, different amounts of water or oil. Um, some have none. So it really changes how you go. You can have one by the beach and have like a beach resort, and but you have one in the middle of the mainland, and it's just shit. So it, depending on what you build, depends on how the type of resources you get, but also every city can be different. So uh, this game definitely has, in my opinion, a lot of replay value if you were to put in, of course, that time and effort, and you have the patience for it. Overall. I enjoyed playing the game. Obviously, it was like that one thing that's annoying me because of only because only one thing in a time frame I've played because only one thing annoyed me. Uh, I probably have to give it like a nine out of ten. I'm pretty sure we don't rate these, but I, I like to rate things based on how many things annoyed me. And only one thing annoyed me, so it drops by ten to a nine. Um, but overall, I did enjoy the game, and like I said, I would definitely recommend it. Anyway, I've been Exo's Killer of PCM. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, join our Discord, come chat with us, chill with us, and yeah, peace. Have a good day. Take care and stay safe. <laughs>